Welcome to Mythology Misfits, where we unravel the mysteries of the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community of mystery enthusiasts. Now, have ever wondered if the mysterious Yeti and Sasquatch truly roam our world, or are they merely figments of our collective imagination? These legendary creatures have long sparked debates and theories, capturing the intrigue of many. Some steadfastly believe in their existence, while others dismiss them as mere folklore. Yet the allure of these elusive mountain giants remains. So, what's the truth? Ash, join us as we delve deep into the wilderness, tracing the legends of these elusive mountain giants. First, let us journey to the frosty peaks of the Himalayas, the alleged home of the Yeti. In the icy crags and secluded valleys of the Himalayas, a legend has endured for centuries. A beast known as the Yeti, or the Abominable Snowman, a mysterious creature of the snow, continues to captivate our collective imaginations. The origins of the Yeti legend are steeped in the rich tapestry of Himalayan folklore. In the remote villages nestled within these mountain ranges, tales of a hairy, ape-like creature have been passed down from generation to generation. The Yeti is often depicted as a protector of the wilderness, a sentinel standing guard over the Himalayan landscape. The legend of the Yeti is not confined to stories alone. Over the years, there have been numerous reported sightings of this elusive creature. These accounts often describe a large, hulking figure with long, shaggy fur moving with an uncanny agility through the treacherous mountain terrain. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence in the Yeti lore is the infamous footprints discovered by mountaineer Eric Shipton in 1951. While on an expedition on the Menlong Glacier, Shipton stumbled upon a series of unusual tracks in the snow. The prints, which measured about 13 inches in length, bore a striking resemblance to a human foot, but with a peculiar elongated shape. This finding sparked a flurry of excitement and speculation, catapulting the Yeti into the global spotlight. Despite numerous expeditions and investigations, definitive proof of the Yeti's existence remains elusive. Many of the physical evidences, such as hair and bone samples, have been debunked as belonging to known Himalayan wildlife, yet the intrigue surrounding the Yeti endures. Despite the lack of definitive proof, the Yeti remains a formidable figure in Himalayan folklore a symbol of the wild and unexplored. The allure of the Yeti lies not just in its mystery, but also in what it represents. The thrill of the unknown, the allure of the uncharted and the enduring human fascination with the mysteries of our world. Leaving the icy peaks of the Himalayas, we now venture into the dense forests of North America, the supposed territory of the Sasquatch. Known also as Bigfoot, the Sasquatch is deeply rooted in the folklore of Native American tribes, primarily those of the Pacific Northwest. Tribal stories often depict the Sasquatch as a revered figure, a gatekeeper of the natural world, or sometimes as a cautionary symbol, a creature to be feared and respected. The term Sasquatch itself is believed to be derived from the Salish word Sasquets, meaning wild man. Yet it wasn't until the mid-20th century that the wider public became intrigued by this shadowy giant. The legend of Sasquatch was catapulted into popular consciousness, largely due to a series of alleged sightings and curious footprints found imprinted in the earth, all suggesting the presence of an enormous bipedal creature. Among the most notable of these encounters is the Patterson-Gimlin film of 1967. The grainy footage shot in Northern California purportedly shows a female Sasquatch striding along a riverbank. The creature's muscular build, its distinctive gait and the sheer size all seem to align with descriptions from Native American folklore and eyewitness accounts. Critics, however, argue that the film is an elaborate hoax, a man in an ape suit. But for many, the Patterson-Gimlin film remains a compelling piece of evidence, a glimpse into a world that defies our understanding. Compelling as these sightings may be, the scientific community remains largely skeptical. The lack of clear physical evidence, such as bones or DNA samples, leaves room for doubt. Yet the allure of the Sasquatch persists. Countless expeditions have been launched into the wilderness in pursuit of this elusive creature, each hoping to find that definitive shred of evidence. Just like the Yeti, Sasquatch continues to captivate and terrify, a symbol of the untamed wilderness that still exists in our world. 
Before we dive deeper into the science behind these myths, we'd like to take a moment to remind you, if you're enjoying this journey into the world of the Yeti and Sasquatch, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Mythology Misfits. Your support helps us bring more fascinating explorations to light. Now, back to our elusive giant. But what does science have to say about the existence of these legendary creatures? Well, in the realm of scientific discourse, concrete evidence is king. And when it comes to our elusive friends, the Yeti and Sasquatch, we find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. The evidence you see is far from definitive. Our scientific toolbox is filled with DNA analysis, fossil records and photographic evidence, but so far these tools have not produced irrefutable proof of these fabled giants. Let's consider the physical evidence, often in the form of footprints or hair samples. More often than not, these are found to be hoaxes or the result of misidentification. A bear's paw print, for instance, can look strikingly similar to what we might imagine a yeti's footprint to look like. And hair samples? They've been traced back to known wildlife species, or in some instances even to domesticated animals. And then there's the role of hoaxes. From deliberately fabricated footprints to doctored photographs and even full-blown costumes, hoaxing has played a significant part in the Yeti and Sasquatch narrative. It's a testament to the length some will go to create a compelling tale or perhaps to seek a moment in the limelight. What about misidentified wildlife? It's not too far-fetched to consider that a fleeting glimpse of a bear standing on its hind legs or a large primate like an orangutan could be misconstrued as an encounter with a yeti or sasquatch. After all, in the heat of the moment, our minds can play interesting tricks on us. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the scientific community doesn't completely dismiss the existence of such creatures. After all, new species are discovered each year, but until there is definitive proof, the yeti and sasquatch remain in the realm of folklore and speculation. So while science remains skeptical, the allure of these creatures persists, fueled by the human fascination with the unknown. Beyond the debate of their existence, the Yeti and Sasquatch have undeniably left a significant mark on our culture. Lurking in the shadows of our collective consciousness, these mythical creatures have captivated our imaginations, influencing media, literature and even tourism. The Yeti and Sasquatch are more than just legends, they have become cultural icons, symbols of the unknown, the wild and the unexplored. In media, their impact is undeniable. They've graced the screens in numerous films, documentaries and television series, often portrayed as misunderstood creatures, elusive and powerful. From thrilling horror films to light-hearted animated shows, these mountain giants have become a staple of our storytelling, embodying our fascination with the enigmatic and the extraordinary. In literature, they've inspired countless tales, from spine-chilling horror stories to enchanting children's books. The Yeti and Sasquatch have become enduring characters, their narratives often reflecting our own fears and curiosities about the world's uncharted territories. Their stories serve as reminders of our primal connection with nature and the mysteries it conceals. In the realm of tourism, they've drawn curious visitors to remote corners of the world. From the Himalayan Yeti expeditions to the Bigfoot treks in North America, these cryptid-centered adventures offer thrill-seekers and mythology enthusiasts alike a chance to step into the unknown, to challenge the boundaries of their beliefs. On a deeper level, the cultural significance of the Yeti and Sasquatch lies in their embodiment of our inherent curiosity and our insatiable desire to explore. They serve as a reminder of the vast wilderness that remains unexplored, the mysteries that lurk in the shadows waiting to be discovered. Whether real or imagined, these creatures remind us of the mysteries that still exist in our world, pushing us to explore and understand the unknown. Despite the skepticism and the debates, the Yeti and Sasquatch continue to captivate us, their legends enduring in our collective imagination, urging us to question, to seek and to discover. So, do the Yeti and Sasquatch truly exist? Or are they mere legends, products of our fascination with the unexplored? We've journeyed through the snowy peaks of the Himalayas, tracking the elusive Yeti, and plunged into the dense forests of North America on the trail of the enigmatic Sasquatch. We've heard tales from eyewitnesses, their accounts filled with awe and fear. We've delved into the scientific perspective, a realm of skepticism and intrigue, where evidence is as elusive as the creatures themselves. We've seen how these legends have permeated our culture, sparking an endless fascination with the unknown. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the stories persist. 
The Yeti and Sasquatch remain enigmatic figures, their existence, or lack thereof, a tantalizing puzzle waiting to be solved. Yet, perhaps it's not the physical existence of these creatures that truly matters. In a world where we often feel we've pierced every mystery, left no stone unturned, these legends remind us of the unknown. They inspire us to question, to explore, to seek out the hidden corners of our world. They ignite our curiosity and fuel our imagination, reminding us that there are still mysteries to be solved, adventures to be had. In the end, perhaps the true value of these legends lies not in their physical existence, but in their ability to inspire curiosity, exploration, and a sense of wonder at the mysteries of our world.